In Denver, a violent night with four separate shootings all across the city. One of them on Xenia Street was deadly. The other three happened on West Colfax, East Colfax, and the corner of 8th and Broadway. It is a story that many people are unfortunately familiar with. Our Marissa Armas joining us live tonight. And Marissa, residents you spoke to are just sick of hearing those gunshots. Kelly, they are. We're here off of 8th and Broadway, close to where one of those shootings happened last night. And earlier today, we spoke with several people in many of these areas. And as you can imagine, they say these shootings are getting out of hand. Well, of course, I'm tired of it. You know, there's just no sense in it. A Friday night in the Mile High City riddled with violence. Well, it's obviously ridiculous. You know, I mean, I get up this morning and find out a neighbor across the street was shot and killed. I know young kids don't need to be running around shooting each other. Four different shootings across the Denver metro injuring multiple people, leaving at least one woman dead on North Xenia Street. Police telling CBS4 all of the shootings are under investigation and don't appear to be related. It does bother me to think that with with kids around like that, that somebody could just come by and have some kind of shooting spree like this. George Knapp lives nearby the building on Xenia Street where that woman was murdered. He heard the shots ring out and says it sounded like an AR-15 style rifle. He also has a friend who lives inside the complex. Look at the building and they got bullet holes all over it. I, I wasn't expecting it. We, I never considered this like a Chicago or a Philadelphia and it seems like we're evolving in that direction as well, and that's sad to see. Tonight, neighbors like George are hoping the community will stand and demand solutions to the violence that continues to plague our communities. We need to band together. We can't have this going on as a commonplace in our in our communities, in, in the entire metro area. We just can't have these kinds of things happening. So and right now, we're working to find out more on who that woman was that was killed last night. Of course, if anyone has any information on any of these shootings, you're urged to contact police or Crime Stoppers. In Denver, Marissa Adamas covering Colorado First.